Yo, what's pop? And I am here, and I am back on Pokemon Showdown for the next Sword and Shield OU Live, which I did want to get out a bit sooner, but I've been having a pretty busy week at work, so I didn't get the chance. But I'm here now with the newest, the latest team of mine. And as you can see here, I built it around Berserker, which is another Pokemon that I'm sure you all wanted to see uh, that has been popping up in the suggestions, in the comments, and whatnot. Um, so I'm running a Swords Dance 3 Attacks Berserker set. With Life Orb and Tough Claws. Tough Claws is going to be boosting that uh, that nice physical contact moves, which is basically all of our attacks. Iron Head, Close Combat, and Throat Chop. All get the boost from Tough Claws, which is going to be really fun to use. Um, it's actually kind of slow, but I just set the speed enough to outrun a standard Corviknight, which is pretty useful because Corviknights mainly run just like Brave Birds and U-Turns most of the time. I mean, you'll sometimes see Body Press, and sometimes you'll maybe, maybe even rarer see like power trip or something on a bulk up set, but it's a little bit uh, uncommon. But we have uh, enough speed to outrun a lot of those um, those standard Corviknights, hit them up with that nice SD close combat, and destroy them with the life orb that we have here. Uh, it's a pure steel type, so this Pokemon, it evolves from Galarian Meowth, and I think it's a really cool Pokemon, Berserker. It's a really cool Mon, in my opinion, and I think that uh, it has a lot of potential in... Uh, in this team because we're running sort of a more hyper offensive style team with screen support from Grimmsnarl as I'll get to in a second here. Now this thing has kind of a little beard there, right? I had to pair it with another beard Pokemon to form the beard core. We have G-Max Kingler or Gigantamax Kingler with agility, three attacks, sheer force life orb. I know some people ask me uh, sometimes on my teams and stuff, how am I able to use duplicate items? I think those are the kind of people that play on, uh, I think, Wi-Fi or something. So they don't allow like duplicate items in Battle Spot or whatever. But this is OU, so you can run any uh, any number of the same items you want in this tier. Those two together form a pretty nice uh, offensive core and uh, agility, which allows us to outrun a lot of different Pokemon, getting up our speed. If we maybe want to Gigantamax this, like sometimes we may want to Gigantamax or sorry, Dynamax, I should say something else, like maybe Berserker or Togekiss, which, which is what we have here as our third Pokemon. Heavy duty boots uh, with three attacks, nasty plot, and um, it allows us to switch into stealth rocks and not take any damage from it, which is nice. But we have a bunch of options. Like we can, we can either Gigantamax Kingler or Dynamax Berserker or Togekiss even. So it uh, it definitely opens up a lot of sweeping capability, or sweeping potential for us for this team. Uh, Grimmsnarl for screens and Mew for hazards is a pretty good uh, core together here, forming a um, hazard setting. And then screen setting, sort of taunt, lead kind of Pokemon. Uh, and then Ditto, which is there for preventing Pokemon from trying to sweep us. And Ditto can even Dynamax if our opponents set up a bit too much. We can steal their boosts and then uh, try to get big on them. So let's just go ahead and grab a game. See how we do for our first one. Hoping that we can see uh, the Berserker put in the work. Because that's the Pokemon that's going to be uh, featured around this, uh, this team. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, if we can get a game soon, which I think we can. Another, uh, another thing that I wanted to mention was that uh, WBE Draft League is starting up soon. And if you all don't know what that is, uh, I, I have uploaded it before in the past. It's a Draft League stuff. It's like you pick Pokemon and then you uh, take on other people with your like team of 10. You bring six or something like that. It's a, it's a pretty fun way of playing Pokemon, but it's starting up soon. The behind-the-scenes drafting is beginning, which I'm pretty excited about for uh, for Sword and Shield. This guy's a, a rain team, right? So we're just going to set up our hazards. He doesn't have any uh, hazard control, so that's pretty fine, I guess. Goes to Mantine here. And just Gigantamax is immediately, just straight up, straight up Gigantamax. Okay, let me get my light screen up then. He only has two turns left. He can't knock me out. Yeah, look at that. Nice, nice. Get those screens up here. Get the reflect up as well. This is definitely choice specs, I think. So I can just uh, attack. Okay, so he just knocks me out there. It's fine. No, it's life orb. Okay, never mind. Did I not even see the life orb? <laughs> I sometimes like I don't pay attention. Like I I see there's life orb there, and then I just I'm like, oh, it's choice specs. Nah. All right, let's uh let's see what we can do here. I don't know if he, I don't know if Berserker takes a hit from this. Honestly, I might as well just uh, well go like Togekiss or something. 
Like he literally, like his flying resist is toxicity. He goes for the roost. This was your last mistake. This was your last mistake. Um, pretty sure I can just airstream. I think I only need plus two, if I'm being honest. Oh, he's sub on this. Well, it's pretty interesting. I am now going to be guaranteed faster. He goes Pelipper, sets up the rain again. But my speed is pretty high right now. My speed's definitely up there. I should be faster than every single mod on his team now. So he brings in Toxicity. I probably can't knock it out with a flamethrower, so I have to go for like an air slash flinch and then go right into a flamethrower after that, which is like a good chance, 60%. So like just going for one is in our favor. GG. Um, that's uh, basically it there because we had like so much more offensive presence in the back too, um, which we could have won either way. Um, so. Yeah, it looks like uh, another interesting team here. I forgot if Cloyster gets rapid spin this gen. It probably does. Grimmsnarl lead. If he decides to taunt me, I think this is like a screen's taunt set or something. I have a Grimmsnarl of my own to block. Uh, oh, he actually subs. Is it sub bulk up or something? It is sub bulk up. Okay. So I'll just set up a reflect here just to... Get at least one screen up. Is that his only attack? Hold up. Sub bulk up Darkest Lariat. <laughs> that might actually be his only move. He crits me though. We'll get that nice, nice and clean damage off. Then he brings in Dracovish. Hello? That is not a switch in. <laughs> that is a sack, not a switch in. He had to have. Like, I don't understand. I guess he didn't have much to go into. Toxicity. All right, let's get our other screen up here. He shift gears. That's fine. That's fine. Max lightning does not even knock us out either. Not bad at all. I like Grimstar a lot. Grimstar is one of my favorite Pokemon this generation. Um, so he'll just max lightning again. His special attack is lowered though. I wonder if uh Actually no let's just uh let's just get up some some hazards. We need some hazards up, I think. Max strike does nothing. So he fire punches. I'm losing my screens, but it's like not even an issue at this point. All right. Got up all my hazards. We can pick him off with our ditto, I think. Just go right for the uh, boom burst. Now in comes Dragapult. I guess I could go Kingler. It's not a problem. He has like four sweepers in the back. <laughs> and I have a ditto. So that's what's that's what's good. Maybe I'll oh actually I might I might even just uh ooh, I'm kinda tempted to just go Berserker and and throat chop this thing. Actually no 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 I'ma save I'ma save Jagged I'ma save my Dynamax for when he goes Togekiss and tries to flinch me. Cause flinching doesn't happen. I can just Dragon Darts here though. Yep, pick that off there. Brings in Togekiss, takes damage, that's perfectly fine. I can just go Berserker. Yep, and then we can uh, we can win the game with this thing, I think. Let's get big on this thing. Can't get flinched. Max Steel Spike to knock it out. 
get a nice little defense boost in the process. Cloyster comes in here, 95 power, 130, but this is super effective. Shell Smash is not going to help you. Berserker will knock him out. Last is going to be that Grim Snarl, which dies to hazards, and that's going to be GG. And he just left. Come on, send out your last mon. What are you doing? Hello? That's crazy. This man didn't even just want. He, he just left. He just closes. He just closes laptop. We're pretty good at that too. Just making people leave without uh, <laughs> just making people throw their computers out the window. Look at this thing. Look at this giant berserker. Dynamax berserker right there. Nah, but it's a pretty fun Pokemon. Like, it's uh. It's an interesting mon. Though I, I'm complete, I was completely thrown off when I saw this thing and I was like, wait, this is connected to the Persian line? This is connected to the, the Meowth evolution line? I did not know that. <laughs> but uh, it's a it's a cool design for sure. I like the name too. I'm glad it didn't just stick to Persian. They called it Perserker. That's like a new a new thing. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on to the next the next one. And so now we have here a Age Slash squad. Nice, uh, nice, Dra uh, nice Draco's ult Dragapult, just like my uh, my nice little core I recorded with before. So I think, yeah, let's just lead Mew. Um, I have Sash, so I'm pretty safe to just get up rocks here. He goes to the sub, but I mean, if he's Infiltrator, no, I can't even copy him. So we go Grim Snarl here. Ah, uh, he's the he's the hex set. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can taunt him though, to prevent him from going for Wisp, which is quite quite nice. Uh, and then Spirit Break. He actually doesn't have a great uh, switch into this thing, other than uh, Age Slash or Age Slash. Uh, I'm gonna go for the uh, the screens. Get my screens up here. We have rocks up, so I think that's kind of all we need. At least for now. Um, so he'll attack with the flash cannon. Does not take us out. I can go into my Kingler here. Uh, he flash cannons, right? So actually... Mm, I kind of like Kingler. Could probably agility here if I wanted to. I feel like he would just King Shield though. No, he doesn't. Okay. Well, he definitely does not have... Sh okay, he does just... <laughs> I thought he'd be the same set that I had. He'll King Shield here, I think. Yep. Got it. Decides to... Ooh, okay. Decides to Gigantamax. Which is actually not bad because he can't... He does not have priority now. He does not have priority, and he's wasted his Gigantamax, which is quite good. Switches so out to Mana Buzz. We're probably not faster than this, but he just sacks. Okay, actually, that's uh, that's really good. Decides to sack, but he can copy me with his Ditto. However, that's not really. Too much of an issue, I think. But he goes Aegis Slash. Okay, so he's gonna just Shadow Sneak here. My, I could bring in Mew. I, I could take the hit from that. Go right for the... Uh, probably the Stealth Rocks here. Just I think all I need is Rocks, and then I could just Taunt. So that he can't King Shield. Um, don't really need Berserker anymore. Could probably save Mew in case, uh, or maybe just for another sack or something, but. I think we could actually go into Togekiss here. Just Flamethrower. Yep, and just knock out Aegislash in one hit. And keep in mind, we still have our, uh, our Dynamax to use. I think, right? So I think this is where we sack Mew. Got the nice synchronize, so that, that came in pretty handy. 
pretty handily. Get the safeguard up here. Now we can get our uh, screens up. Light screen. And then uh, reflect. So Ditto can copy Togekiss though. The question is, just gotta make sure we don't lose. Honestly, I don't think I even need to set up here. Actually, I think I should, uh, I think I probably should max Airstream. Because then I'll be faster than Dragapult. And then we have to avoid getting flinched down, I think. Hmm. He had Willowisp on Dragapult. Because he could also sub to get rid of my squeeze. Actually, you know, you know what we do? We uh we max the airstream. I think this is what we do. To make the most of our uh, limited screens turns. So I max Starfall here. We are gonna be faster, so we knock this out. Goes in a Draco Zolt here. So another idea I had in mind was switching out here into Ditto to copy Draco Zolt and then clicking Outrage, but then, and then Ditto can't copy me. Cause if Ditto goes into my Togekiss, then he could potentially just flinch me down all the way. And I can't copy his Ditto. So I think my play is to actually go Ditto here. As odd as it may seem, I think my play is to go ditto. And that would not have done much damage behind the screens. And I can Dragon Claw here, which actually does not knock it out because of Misty Terrain. So it should do less uh, to me, which is nice. I can Dragon Claw again now to knock him out. He can't switch into ditto. And I miss, unfortunately. He misses too, fortunately. And then uh, knock him out here. And then Ditto can't copy my Ditto. So we can just win the game. <laughs> nice, nice. So I think that was a really, um, a really good play on our part to ensure that Ditto did not come in as Togekiss and then try to flinch us down. And then if it did, then it would be Ditto 1v1 because my Ditto would not be able to transform into his Ditto. So I think that was a really smart play. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. See how we do. And uh, I think we got the same... The same rain guy. Yeah, same rain guy. He's back with a vengeance. Back with a vengeance. Get those rocks up. This guy is in. Yup. Looks like the same sequence of turns too. But I get my screens up, which is nice. Very, very nice. What did I do before? I went Togekiss, right? Pretty sure I went Togekiss here. And then plot it up. I could also go Kingler for a change, too. Could go Kingler. I think I like Togekiss, though. And just plot up here. Ah, nice. Nice. Just what I needed. Airstream time. Hit him up for some damage. Toxtricity's in. I'm pretty sure, actually, no, he can Dynamax here, though. No, no, he can't. He already did with his, uh, with his Mantine. Ooh. I feel like, uh, Airstream probably does more because of the stab, right? This in the rain, and then this outside of the rain. So let's just airstream this. Yup, gone. Plus two speed. 
Nice and easy knockouts. GG right there once again. Back to back. <laughs> nice back to back. Let's continue on once again. Now we got some nice, nice Dracovish squad. I like the amount of Dracovish we're seeing in this video. Although they have not really <laughs> shown themselves in uh, in our presence. So I think the, the Mule Lead is, of course, obviously going to be the play. He does not have any hazard control. And he leaves Toxapex, which I think is definitely his first mistake because I can taunt you. Even better, from one taunted Mon to the next, or one Mon that loves getting taunted to the next. So he'll just click Knock Off. I'm going to just get these layers up. <laughs> I'm going to get these layers up now. He's probably just going to whip again, so I'm going to get up an, an extra layer of spikes here. Yep, perfect. Now I can just taunt him with Grimmsnarl. It's going pretty well for the for the most part here. I think we are just shutting him down entirely. Look at all these layers. That's just what we need. And we can bring in uh, Berserker after that, maybe. Potentially. Reflect up. Light screen up. Taunt and then hard switch to Berserker and then let's just have it uh, do some stuff. I think that's going to be the play. He knocks off my light clay though, unfortunately. So we taunt here. Hard switch to Berserker. SD up. Now we got the layers up though, now we got the layers up. Close combat will 100% take this thing out. So that's gone. Nice, nice. Pex comes in here. I really, I, I don't know if I want to waste my, actually I think a throw chop would knock it out, wouldn't it? A plus two? Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. But I don't really care if he regens. I didn't want to waste my uh, my Dynamax on, on Berserker. Just because he hasn't used up his, it's just a smart thing to do. Even though it's a showcase. But we're we're showcasing it right now. We're, we're, we're just showing it off. Huh? From one, from one Pokemon to the next. The nice dark switch in right there. <laughs> Wait, okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay, now uh, Darmanitan is in. I get knocked out by this thing probably, but... Um, I mean, we could get up screens again. Heal Earthquake, that does take us out. Grimmsnarl gets to come back in, thankfully. Uh, I can just get my screens up once more. Heal Earthquake. I'm actually going to attack here, because yeah, like he does not like switching out at all. Doesn't, he just, he does not like switching out. Oh, but he does, and uh, goodbye Toxapex. Toxapex, not so apex when you got all these hazards on, on the field. Yep, that's gone. Then, uh, when are we seeing Dracovish come in? Yeah, right now. Dracovish is in. That Oko's me up. Bet for sure. Let's, let's, uh, let's get some Kingler action. Let's get some Kingler putting in work now. How about that? Get the agility off here. And then what do we do? Max Knuckle. Max Knuckle. Get those attack boosts. Would he go? I don't think he can go mimic you. Because Dracovish is gone.
There's Mimikyu. Let's break this thing's disguise. I'm sure I'm pretty sure he can SD though and Shadow Sneak. But like we have a Ditto, so he can't really do that actually. Oh, he just died. Ooh, okay. He max moves. Oh, the G-Max lowers his speed. That's actually amazing. G-Max foam burst sharply lowered the speed. Or, yeah, it fell harshly. That's really good because now we can outrun it with uh, Togekiss. Even though we can't flinch it, it brings it low enough for us to knock it out with Ditto. Which is amazing. I think. Actually, if we copy it, actually, is it amazing? Because then Darmanitan could be faster and knock us out. Ooh. That might be... Uh, okay, so I think... I, I can't flinch it, so Dazzling Gleam is my best play to get as much damage as I can. So I, I have to Shadow Sneak then. Shadow Sneak will, I think, also knock out Darm. So his play would be to max guard. Yeah, that's a good play. And then he could Shadow Sneak after. Oh no, he can't. His, uh... Oh no, he... He returned to normal, but he kept his giant disguise. <laughs> I was waiting for him to shrink. But, uh, unfortunately, he did not. Yeah, so we can knock this out. Last is gonna be Darmanitan. Which, after all these hazards, should get knocked out by a Shadow Sneak, I think. Yep, there it is. GG. It is Envy. Nice game. Pretty solid game overall. Kingler put in a ton of work in this game. I think lowering the speed was great too because otherwise it would have been faster than uh, our Togekiss. Though I'm pretty sure it might not have mattered in the end because we still had Ditto. But it's cool to see that at least. There's the game right here. Oh. Ooh. This guy has the uh This guy has the squad. Didn't I have did I have something in this place over Mandibuzz? What was it? I had something in this spot. Forgot. It was a long long time ago. The very second team. The very second team that I created looked similar. Then it became standard. Darmanitan is in. He'll probably just U-turn. It's a big U-turn. Definitely looks Scarf to me though. There's Age Slash. Can just taunt it. As he tries to sub. Yeah, this is my set, isn't it? <laughs> it's the sub Age Slash. That's one of my uh, signatures. Um, let me spike it up here. As he will indeed attack me, but he cannot King Shield, right? He cannot King Shield. So, what we can do is, uh... Oh, is this Envy? <laughs> I knew it. Hey, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. I could go Kingler. Hit him with the big uh, knockoff here. As he brings in Rotom. So it should do a yeah, pretty good chunk. That's Choice Scarf. So he'll still be faster than me. We got rid of the Scarf though, which is actually great for uh, for Togekiss. He both switches out now. Which means I could probably get screens up. Ooh, Mandibuzz. So I guess he'd like defog or something. I don't see it. I don't he, he might have double scarf too, actually. Which will be very annoying for my team. Let's hit him with the power of the spirits. Spirit break. So now Mandibuzz is weak. That's pretty good for something like an agility kingler to put in work. Agility Kingler puts in a ton of work, actually. I might even say it. 
could win us the game, maybe. So I think my play is to taunt on the rocks, maybe, or just get up screens. Like I could get, I could get my screens up here. I don't really care about the rocks, right? Because I have heavy duty boots. So he rapid spins to get the speed boost, which is not really an issue, I think. Not too much of an issue. Knocks me out with Iron Head. So I could go here into... So I think I think Kingler Agility will put me faster than uh, Drill. Or it should at least. So I could just Agility here. As he brings a Mandibus. Nice. Nice. Kind of want to max Knuckle. <laughs> I kind of want to max Knuckle here, but I think a regular liquidation will just take it out anyways, since we are uh, Life Orb Sheer Force, so we don't have to waste a turn there. Age of Slash comes in here. I'm gonna go for the max Darkness because you know what we can, we can do what we we, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> gotta destroy this thing. Oh, it's not enough. She tries to sub though, so that's good. Um, can Darkness again, which should knock it out, I think. Yep, knocks it out through the King Shield. Nice, nice. So that's gone. If I have the opportunity to get off a of Max Knuckle, that'd be nice. I and I do I do here, so I can get the plus one attack boost. Max Knuckle. Knock it out. So that's pretty good. Kingler's back to normal though. But we can get off some huge damage on something. Though I think he will Dynamax or Jack yeah, he will Dynamax at some point. Probably with Gyarados, but then if he is Moxie, we can potentially reverse sweep. Darmanitan comes in. Actually, uh, <laughs> Liquidation probably knocks it out. I think we're faster, right? 498, 317 times 1.5. Quick maths, quick maths. Yeah, nice. Good damage. Got that big damage off. Alright, I think so. This is 110.5 power. This becomes 110 power, right? But it's not very effective, but it gets the stab boost. 20% chance. Well, it's not. No, never mind. No chance because it's sheer force. But I take life orb damage. I'm just liquidation because, you know, I think that's pretty powerful, anyways. <laughs> it's kind of powerful. 37. That's good. It's good damage. So he knocks me out here, gets the attack boost. Um, we can go here into... Yeah, how do I win this? Uh, let's see. <laughs> how do I win? Um, I know Togekiss can take a hit. I think at least. I don't, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I can copy with Ditto. Potentially. So I guess I just go for the Dazzling Gleam. Does Airstream knock me out? Yep, it does. It does. Um, so I go into Berserker now. Because remember, I can copy with Ditto afterwards. Drill's at 73. I can close combat here. If he does try to switch out to Drill, then... Yeah, he does. I think he, I think he tries to switch out so I don't copy the, uh, the Gyarados. So we caught that. We caught that at least. And then I can go here for the throat chop. Waterfall does take me out. I get the I get the attack boost here. I'm pretty sure a power whip will take it out. Power whip at plus one should take out Gyarados here. Yep, that's gonna be GG. GG. Nice game, nice game. You played it pretty well. And I'm uh, glad to see some of my some of my past members of my team come back. Uh, what are we at right now? Let's see. Yeah, let's get another one. I think uh, we can get like one or two more maybe. Depending on how long it is. But Kingler, Kingler carried that game. <laughs> Kingler really carried that game. For sure. Guaranteed. And so now, our last final game will be against Pinchurchin. This, uh, I think it's how you say it. Pinchurchin? Pin Pink Urchin? 
something like that. <laughs> something like that. I haven't seen one of these in a minute. Um, but I don't see hazard control, so let's uh, rocks, spikes, and have some fun. Can easily, easily spike it up here. Oh no, of course, because he's scarfed. <laughs> I wasn't seeing that properly, but um, we can get our screens up now at this point in time. Um, I think that'll be fine. Actually, uh, so if this does double damage, no, it probably knocks us out there. Yeah. And then... I could probably... I could actually go Kingler. Kingler probably takes the hit now pretty well. Not as well as I would have liked, though. Um, I can just superpower for some damage. Just get a little, little bit of chip, right? A little bit of chip damage off. And then what do we do? Close combat will take it out. Why did this thing destroy half my team before I could knock it out? Dracovish is powerful. I'm, t I'm telling you right now, Dracovish is a, a threat. Absolute threat. But we got rocks up, which is nice. I mean, I, I think it's all we need. I'm faster than you. Let me uh, close combat this thing. Get that nice clean damage off. Is he mementos? Straight up mementos. But actually, it's not looking it's not looking too bad. Actually, it's not looking that bad. So I, I mean I could go here into like he, he would SD here. 100 percent he would SD, right? So we go into Grim. Ooh, he actually goes into that. Hmm. Hmm. And then straight up acros. Uh, it's not the worst, I guess. Not the worst thing that could happen, because I'm kind of forced to Dynamax, though, I think. As he SDs up. I think my play actually is to max guard. I don't know if he has Thunder Punch or not. SD acro, oh, sub SD acro, no, he's fighting. He's a fighting move. I could probably take the hit. Probably. This should actually destroy this. Yep. So now we got the speed boost going for us, which is nice. Yeah, there's a way to win, for sure. There's a way to win. Ferrothorn comes in, max flare this. Knock this thing out. And then we have a Ditto in the back, too. And we have a Perserker in the back, too. <laughs> nice. Very nice, very nice. Dragapult, this thing... Okay, you get destroyed. I don't know why you went into this. Oh, you're Scarf Drag... Are you Scarfed? Yeah, you're Scarf Dragapult. Hold up, you are Scarfed. Scarfed as anything. So he he go T-Tar here. I would double now. Doubling here is my play into Berserker. Yep, expecting that to come in. Pray that I'm faster. Actually, I Iron Head here. Iron Head is my best play. Because it also hits Dragapult for a lot of damage. Which actually also, I'm pretty sure knocks it out with the Tough Claws boost. Yep, that's gone. And Berserker comes through for us in the end. Ooh, that is what I like to see. Am I, am I faster than you two? I, I hope I am. Oh, I'm not. Ooh, I am not faster. Do I win this game though? This is a close one. Oh no, <laughs> weakness policy. Ah, uh, no, no. I can't end it off there. I can't end it off there. There's no way I can end it off there. That was close. That was a good game. Pretty good game. But Dracovish is a threat, man. Dracovish is... Another one. No. Not you. But this guy actually has the uh, Gigantamax Machamp. This guy actually has the Gigantamax Machamp. I was gonna end, I was gonna end it off on the last one. If we won that game. 
and then it would have been a clean sweep, but nah, you know, we can't do that now. Cannot do that now. We have to uh, actually try to win the game. Or we have to actually try to end it on a win, basically. We go Grim Snarl here. Yep, as he goes Cinderace, basically what I expected here, I can taunt him. Dodge the power. Ooh, nice dodge, buddy. Nice dodge, buddy. He does burn me though, so he does make up for it, I guess. Even though I wasn't trying to attack him in the first place. Um, we got our screens up. Let's, uh, ooh, actually. Do not burn me. Do not burn me. Because literally, if I set up, I win. Like, legitimately, literally. Okay. Max knuckle time. <laughs> Yo, Dracovic ain't saving you now. We got the bearded Kingler. This, this, this Kingler took a lesson from Mega Zam. Borrowed some of the beard. Plus two. Let's go. Let's let's go. This is what I like to see. He's still can Dynamax though, so he could probably live a hit from something. Unfortunately, sheer force doesn't work where in in a sense that if you're Gigantamaxed or something, then you know, it, it won't really work that way by not letting you take life orb damage or something like that, or preventing you from taking the chip damage, even though this does have effects, but I do prefer the effects of this. Oh, you're, no, 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 you're not living this. <laughs> you're not living this. Nah, I got the max darkness, buddy. You're not living that. Kingler come through. Kingler will sweep. Liquidation destroys this thing. I could knock off too, but I don't want to take any more life orb damage. Goodbye. Kingler sweep. That's it. That's the whole game. That's the whole game. Goodbye, Kingler. Or sorry, goodbye, everyone else. And hello, Kingler. So that is where we're going to end it off. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And seeing the team put in work, uh, we got to see a lot of Perserker. Got to see the uh, the Kingler as well, Kingler Sweeping. Those are the two mods that I built this team around in the first place. So feel free to try the team out if you guys want to and suggest what you might want to see next. Uh, I do appreciate all of the uh, the suggestions and everything. Um, of course, you know, I'll keep you guys posted on Draft League stuff coming up. Um, you know, the behind the scenes draft for WB going on right now. I, I don't know if I mentioned that already. I probably mentioned it in the beginning, but that's going to be exciting. Um, so stay tuned for content, content coming your way, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.